you. Hey guys, it's JD. Um, I've been kind of doing some thinking. Uh, well, two things to talk about, but I've been kind of doing some thinking. I've been looking at a lot of emo and seeing kids, and to me, it kind of looks like really, really bad wannabe ripoffs of J-Rock. Not trying to be mean. I mean, if you like that, so I'll go ahead, but it kind of looks like, like, Japan or it has and stuff. So, yeah, that's my little opinion on it, but, yeah. Also, I'm trying not to look at myself on the screen, because I know when I look, play back my videos, it look really funny, so I'm trying to look at the webcam, so if I glance down. Um, something else I want to talk about was I kind of, well, because in my last video, it was about my breakup and stuff. Well, I'm not ready for a relationship or anything, but I don't see what's wrong with dating right now. So, I was dating this one guy, and he was really creepy. Very creepy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm trying to think of some, some things I did. I'm sorry, I'm like totally brain dead. I had like all this planned out in my head, too. Uh, um. Okay, so, okay, I'll just tell you about the time thing, because that's the only thing I can think of for some reason. Okay, the time thing. Okay. Well, okay, well, as you may or may not know, I am going to school to become a kindergarten teacher. And to me, school is really important right now. So, um, I have classes, and I have homework, and I have a learning disability. I'm dyslexic, and it's really hard for me to focus on one thing for a long time. It's not ADD. I'm not, I can focus on a lot of things. It's just, um, I can't explain it. I, they don't, ha they actually they don't have a thing for it either. I asked them, like, do I have ADD? They're like, no, we don't know what it is. I got tested back in high school. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay, so anyway, it's like, like, he knows I'm going to school, because I'm a kindergarten teacher, and school is really important to me. And so, like, we'd be hanging out or something, and I'm like, oh, I have to go to class. And he'd be like, okay, I'll see you later. And he'll text me, like, a couple seconds later, and he'll be like, I'll miss you. And this was on the second day of dating and stuff. I'll be like, oh, it's really good. Okay, I miss you too. I'll text you after class now. And I don't really, I don't get a good service in some of my classes, so I turn off my phone. So my phone's searching for service. It it kills the battery really fast. So, um, so like, I'll tell, I would text him, okay, I'll see you after class, I'm, I'm gonna turn off my phone. And like, I'll turn my phone back on, I have like five missed calls and like ten text messages from telling me that he missed me or where'd he go, how come I'm not talking to him? And, okay, sorry, that was a little bit off topic. And then, okay, I was talking about the time thing. And then he'd be like, oh, on Tuesday, we only get to spend like three hours together. On Wednesday, we only get to spend two, and that's not enough time. And like on the weekends, he won't hang out all day. And for me, I think a good day is like be maybe like around like 12, and if it goes till three or four, that's fine. But like when I would hang out with him on Saturday, well, because he'd be, he'd be like, come on, can you stay a little later? Or he'd be like, well, because, like, I don't like driving up to San Rosa and stuff. It's really a big deal. So we would go one go up to the city or whatever. we take the bus. Also, I'm a big environment freak, too, so I'd rather take the bus to drive my car. But anyway, he would he would be all like, he'd be like, oh, can we take the late bus? Come on, why don't you want to stay a little longer? You want to come over to my house? You could wait to the later bus that my mom would take you home. Yeah, he doesn't drive. He's just really lame, if you ask me. And he's... Two years older than me, and I'm 19. But, yeah, he was just way too clingy and insecure and a little bit possessive. And, um, I try to ride my bike, like, three to four times a week. And it's around the same time, like, 4.45. And, like, I would tell him, I'm gonna go ride my bike now, I'll text you after I'm done. <clears throat> 
And he'll be like, okay, I'll talk to you later. And then he'll be like, I miss you. He's like, because like I listen to music when I ride my bike, but I put put on my headphones and put them around my neck, so they're not over my ear, so I can still hear traffic and stuff. A voice ago, I was on uh, I was struck by TV. Okay, yeah, ride my bike. Okay, so like. So, like, I'll, like, begin my iPod and stuff, and, like, if I'm wearing a skirt or whatever, I'll, like, change jeans or shorts or whatever, because I don't, like, wear, okay, I don't, like, wear a skirt when I'm riding my bike, and this view's gone for a really long time, I'm really sorry, but, um, yeah, and, like, and, like, like, while I'm, like, changing or, like, getting music or whatever, he'll be all, like, I feel like you should leave yet, oh, I miss you already, and, oh, my God. Oh my god, it killed me so much. And, and um, and like I ignore those because like I really want to go ride my bike. And like I get back and be like ten, okay, I'm me over your bike, six missed calls from him, and like twelve text messages. <sighs> really, it was too much. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, I'm a little hoarse, I'm getting kind of sick. But yeah, but please don't be mad at me for the comment I made. I mean, because I'm more into, I'm going really soft, like, I'm more into Japanese and J-Rock. Like, I like band, bands like Darren Gray and Anne Cafe. And that probably sounds really funny when I pronounce them, because I'm not really good at pronunciation, because I'm piercing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's all I wanted to say. So, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good junk. If, if, <laughs> okay, it's gonna make really your joke. You're not going to. Okay, peace.